trailer and you are looking at a mess behind me because our basement flooded uh, yesterday. We had some storms come, out, come in and then one inch depth of water this entire studio. Um, all my rugs are pulled and they're outside drying in 30 degree weather. <laughs> so chaos. Yeah. But we're working on getting it taken up. So if you see the vacuum cleaner, what have you, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, so I have a special treat for you today. Uh, we have a free pattern added to the resource library over at southerncharmquilts.com. And this pattern is courtesy of Sarah Folks of Snuggle Bug Stitching. Let me show you the quilt and then I'll tell you about the pattern. All right, so here is Sarah's quilt that she made and it's pinwheels and they're actually easier pinwheels to make so if you are somebody who is brand new to quilting uh you know it doesn't get much easier than this quilt pattern so it is a beginner friendly quilt pattern she used uh all of my uh, garden therapy fabrics uh, so that's what you're looking at you know it's really nice holding uh somebody else's quilt for a change i don't get to um see a lot of uh, other people's quilts in person unless i go to a show of course but anyway uh sarah quilted this one with your basic meander so again really really simple and what i've noticed about it and i was telling her this that my quilts i end up with some, with some very dense quilting and they end up really really thin Here's one here, and you can see just how packed down my quilts are compared to this lofty look. So that was really, really nice, and it got me thinking that maybe I wanna experiment with some light quilting versus, you know, the density. I will say that I really, really do love the density, but there's a place for this too. I really, really love how, you know, it just feels a little bit thicker and, you know, just loftier. I really like it. All right, also, uh, Sarah has a little unique way of doing binding that I thought you might like to see. Uh, it was, it was, it was nice to look at. I don't know if she has a demo on it or not, but it looks like machine binding, but instead of using, you know, your straight stitch, you use this little wavy stitch. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, let me show you the back because the back is all garden therapy fabrics as well. So really, really cute. Um, also, one more detail, I'm back and forth it today. One more detail, she always purchases my quilt labels and there is, you know, one of the labels and she has, she has a, uh, some hand stitches right here to hold it in place and again we sell these quilt labels over at meanderandmake.com all right so to get this pattern you're going to come to southerncharmquilts.com you're going to head over here to the resource library if you're coming to this website from a mobile device the the resource library might be under one of those little uh, collapsible menus right here but you're going to click resource library you might get an ad to pop up. Just X out of that. Give it a second. All right, resources. So you're gonna scroll down to our freebies. These are where all of our free quilt patterns live. And about midway is gonna be uh, Sarah's Pinwheel Popper Quilt Pattern. So you'll click that. Uh, and it will take you to where you can get the pattern. You'll put your email, name, birth date in, and click submit. The pattern will be emailed directly to you. Uh, so uh, really simple, really easy. Um, and, then, and then I've got all of Sarah's information right in that email as well. So if you wanted to you know, check in with her, see what she's doing, or have questions about the pattern, you can do so right from that email. All right, so that is it for this video. Um, if you end up downloading the pattern, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and send me pictures because I love looking at your quilts. It's really, really fun seeing other people's quilts. I just wish I could see all of you in person all the time. But anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.